<sighs> well, it does suck that we finished Ultimate Spider-Man so quickly, everybody, but it's great that we're moving on to some bigger and better things with the last radioactive ra- I- I can't- Why- why can't I grab it? It's- it's right there! Why- why can't I touch it? Oh, no. No, don't tell me there's- No, 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 wait, don't tell me there's something more! No, please! We're already done with this game! It was already finished! We already did it on the PS3! Why do we have to do it on the PS2 now as well? No! Well... Poop. Anyways, welcome back to Believers and all you spectacular spy fans to another infectious installment of Radioactive Replay and are moving on to the second to last game of all the Spidey solo games to be played for Radioactive Replay that I do have because once again, I would be playing the PS1 Spidey games. However, I have sadly misplaced them and as you saw in the intro, we would have done Spider-Man 2. However, the Spider-Man 3 PS2 edition is extremely different from how it was on the PS3, so we are going on to this game again on the PS2, which is just fantastic. I'm kidding, of course, but basically, the PS2 version, some of you guys say that you like it more than the PS3 version, or vice versa, you like the PS3 version more than the PS2 version, but it actually is... A completely different game and once again if the volume is too loud for this one part or it's too low I'm gonna change it as the parts can, can you know keep going on so just bear with me there but hooray the ps2 version of spider-man 3 fantastic great so basically I would say the thing that makes this game different from the ps3 version is I guess the swinging is not better but it's still pretty good if you do know how to control it and the combat is more like Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 1, but not Spider-Man 3, because there's not as much webs. Light it up. Look at those HD cutscenes, of course. Oh, snap. Crashing the party. Gotta see if anyone's trapped in here. Then I can find out who's responsible for this. Mess. Of course, Toby. Sure thing. You won't get past us, Spider-Man. Are you sure about that? I can do a pretty good job trying to get past all you guys. Oh man, I thought we were done with Spider-Man 3, but I guess not. Whoa. In real life, it's called assault and batter, but in here, it's called melee combat, and it's just good, clean fun. That's right, Bruce. Beat up those bad guys. Drop them like a bad habit. Soft I will. Some quick attacks, then nail them with a strong hit. You know what, Bruce? Thank you for being actually kind and considerate and actually want me to fight these guys. Instead of just nagging us how you did in Spider-Man 3. And also in The Amazing Spider-Man 1. Now, before we continue, though, I gotta switch the settings again, because just like Ultimate Spider-Man, for some reason, the camera l inverted is normal, if that makes sense. Uh, so exit that. I do want to keep these changes because now the camera works totally fine. Awesome. And again, <laughs> woo! Hello. That's impressive. Um, I didn't even know that the PS2 version was pretty much extremely different from the PS3 version because when I was a kid, I had Spider-Man 2 and Ultimate Spider-Man, but not this. I waited to play the PS3 version because I wanted to play the best version of the game possible unless you guys think this is better which then yes this is not as good as the ps3 version if you think it's better me i think they're they they both have their their ups and their downs this one's pretty good though be without his spider powers example a right here he'd be man is that what you came here to play man three yes i don't think so now go ahead and crawl up this wall you know like spider man thanks for the advice bruce Really appreciate that. Whoa! I don't appreciate creepy and very fast-paced camera glitches. I don't like that either. Um, and it's it sucks because, you know, Treyarch and Activision put all their money and resources into the PS3 version of this game. Um, which is why, you know, the graphics obviously look better in the PS3 version than they do in this version. Um, but this game was supposed to be a substitute for the people who couldn't afford a PS3 at the time. So that way both... People who own each consoles could play Spider-Man 3 somehow, um, which is why, like, when you see these graphics, they look extremely different from how they did for um, Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. I know you just talked a lot, Bruce, but it's okay. I, I just wanted to tell the viewers on what makes this game so much different from the other Spider-Man games. Because first off, the budget's whack, 
and uh, obviously there's nothing good in it at all. I'm just kidding. This game is all right. Um, I do like the swinging. You know, the swinging is pretty fun. Uh, like I said earlier, once you get the hang of it, you do understand how it works. Which is odd, because usually the pattern for the, the Sam Raimi swinging, I would say, for the Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3 swinging, is that you would press and hold R2 to and swing. I, should see if anyone else is trapped in here. I will, Toby. Sorry, hold on. You gonna talk, Bruce? Nope? Alright, great. Jump higher by pressing and holding the jump button, then releasing it. Wow, great. Um, basically, you hold X while swinging. And then you let go of um, R2 at some point as well to get a bigger boost. Ouch! Hey, you're not a real hero until you save someone's life, right? Otherwise, you're just a guy in long underwear who hits people. So save civilians in danger to start earning some superhero street cred. Hey! You gotta prove to the girls on the street, Peter, that you're more than just some creepy guy in spandex. You gotta go and make sure that the civilians are safe too and having a good time. Save me, Spider-Man! Don't worry about it. Now run. Now run. The building's about to blow. Get out. You'll be okay. Oh no. Hostages. Must save them. I'm kidding. We'll be fine. Over time, regenerate your red health bar by avoiding damage. You can only regenerate to your orange endurance level. Increase your endurance by finding power-ups. Crime fighting's more of a marathon than a sprint, so let's talk endurance. Your health will regenerate up to your endurance level, but taking damage will wear away your endurance. Grab power-ups to increase your endurance. You want to hear me say endurance again? Endurance. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> Literally, These um... really slowing me down. Gotta keep moving. Are they, though? They're not that big, that much of a challenge. Um, Press I think Bruce Campbell is much more... Chains. No sweat, right? Well, maybe a little. Just a bit. I think Bruce Campbell is much more enthusiastic in this game than he was in Spider-Man 3 on the PS3. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, I guess the PS2 games is where the best Bruce Campbell bits are. Our boss to a bomb up ahead. I can give you access to the next room. Hurry. No problem. Oh yeah, wise guy? What if I don't wanna? You ever think of that? What if I'm just here for, just, for fun? What if I just took a wrong turn in my swinging route? Nice, and I love how the health pickups are power-ups. I just love that's like that's that's how you know you're in an, you're playing an old school 2000s game when they call it power-ups. I love it. Yeah, no one can stop me now. Come and get it, Spidey. Come on, guys, really? This thing can go off at any moment. You'll be fine. This is the same uh, girl from the PS3 version who has the creepy eyes and who messed up the quick time event. Adrenaline's the legal, all-natural way to get some extra pop. Just press the adrenaline button, then attack. Wow. That was it, Bruce? I thought you had something more to say. All right. Well, bam! Let's go for the best combo move right here. I said best combo move, which apparently is not working. There it is! There we go. Wow. That was intense. I don't know if I would want to mess with Spider-Man just shooting a bunch of web balls at my face. Yeah, that sounds really messed up and very scary all at the same time. Little tip, most New Yorkers never look up, so why not take advantage? Jump and then give these thugs some death from above. You mean the web strike! You remember when we were talking about dodging and how great a thing it is? Mm-hmm, okay, just check it. <laughs> no, what was that? What what tip was that, Bruce? Was that Was that a move that I should be using against these guys? I don't know. I love how, I don't know if Toby is more enthusiastic in this game than he was in Spider-Man 3 on the PS3. Um, but he, he does have some really good moments in both the red suit and the black suit, I think, in this game. I think he does a good job. But I think the most enthusiastic he ever was playing Spider-Man was in the first game. No, we'll keep him on. And you're fine. Nice. Fasten your seatbelt. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. And slide to the ground. Oh no, they're fine. Thanks for flying air, Spidey. Thank you, miss. Wow, look at that high quality HD title for the PS3 Spider-Man 3 and PS2 Spider-Man 3 edition. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Can't even talk. Lately, things have been going my way. I got the girl, and New York finally likes me. Not that there aren't problems. Like this new guy, Eddie Brock at the Daily Bugle. He's really starting to get on my nerves. Harry, my best friend, won't talk to me. 
On top of that, new gangs have moved in and they're dividing up the city. Still, it's nothing I can't handle. One weird thing, there haven't been any big supervillains around since Doc Ock. But I have this bad feeling like the sky is gonna fall or something. And soon. Well, that's not good. Or is it? Maybe it'll lead us to Venom? I hope so. Whoo, that HD little uh, wallpaper. Kind of good for PS2 era. Still, it's just a picture from the movie's poster, so nothing too big, but still. Very nice. Going back in the Spider-Man 3 swing of things. Ooh, a little downside there. Not that good looking of a city, especially compared to Spider-Man 2. Yeah, this is kind of a step backwards. Hey. Whoever said being a hero was easy. If the bad guys are giving you too much trouble, feel free to adjust the difficulty setting. I won't tell. What, you think I'm some low-life punk who can't handle a good superhero difficulty? Wait a minute. Superhero hero. Aha! Well, I'm going to go up against that challenge, Bruce. I'm going to take superhero because, as you guys know, I do like difficulty settings. And I always play on the hardest difficulty settings, even though the Venom boss fight... Uh, sucks a lot in this game, but we are going to do superhero regardless. Feeling lost? Need direction? Well, you could join a cult, or just use the handy point of interest markers that appear on the screen to help show you where to go. My handy spider compass? Oh, I mean, uh, the mini-map, obviously. Or, you know, giant green lights with exclamation points on it. That, that helps, too, as you would for a Spider-Man right. game. Time to get into the swing of things. <laughs> Look, I didn't write this crap. Anyway, <laughs> just press and hold the swing button to shoot out and hang onto a web line. Thanks, Bruce. That Again, huge, huge plus that Bruce Campbell does a better job of being the narrator in this game than the PS3 version. I have no idea why, but he does. Woohoo! Let's go, Spidey. Okay, again, the swinging. It, now you're a real swinger. That's right, Bruce. Again, it's nothing like Spider-Man 2, but it's okay. Aim your web line by moving the left analog stick in various directions. This will result in a different type of swing. Thanks, game. Appreciate the advice. Really do. Woo! And I know it looks very clunky right now. If you guys have never seen this game before, it looks a little clunky. But um, once you do get the hang of it, it actually does turn out to be pretty good. Giant green marker of evil death? Or mission objective. Let's find out. I'm kidding. Or am I? Next mission training area. Swing. Try charging your swing to boost it. For maximum boost, release the charge button before your swing ends. Okay. Thank you for the simple talk, Bruce. I'll make sure to do all the cool tricks possible. Now again, so he said use it after your swing ends. So basically, for those of you who are confused, you basically need to keep a hold of X while swinging after you let go of X while holding onto your web line. I don't know what's going on. Did the game glitch or I'm just being stupid? There we go. Whew, okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess up again, guys. Don't worry. I'm just trying to get in the swing of things. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a long time, actually. I don't know when the last time I did play it was. Probably, because I didn't get this game in 2007. I got this game in like 2011. Because I had a PS2, I'm like, oh, I never played the PS2 version, let me go play it. And it was pretty fun. You can earn experience points by completing missions and performing combat combos. To manually save your experience points and your overall progress, go to the save load menu in the scrapbook. Okay, now the scrapbook is your one-stop shop for everything. Ah. Good to know. And make sure that I save over the game's default setting. Which, uh, <laughs> you think that, um... Uh, that Batman, the Arkham games have enough save slots. This game has 10 save slots, just in case you forgot one of them. Yeah, I, uh, I call that overkill. A little bit. Just a smidge. Alright, Bruce. You need to go back to the save load menu to earn more experience points. Patrol gang territories. Use the city map to find out where the gangs are the Man, strongest. The city's a mess. Look at all those gangs. I bet the H-bombers know something about bombing that building. That's Maybe right, the Crips and the Bloods and thing. everyone on the patrols are just kind of being messing up right now. I'm just kidding. That's Those are those obviously are not the gangs in this game, but uh, who knows? The police can't always keep up with crime in the city. That's where you come in. 
track down informants to get tips on gang activity, then put a stop to it. You'll make the Big Apple a better place to live. Sometimes you'll even find clues that lead to bigger threats to the city. Aha. Aha, indeed, Bruce. I just love his enthusiasm. I don't know if he was, like, more enthusiastic on purpose for this game or what but he just he's great in in this game at any time you can travel to the gang turf shown on the map and talk to an informant to begin a crime patrol the number of rings around a gang icon indicates how powerful the gang is in that area completing patrols will return turfs to the police head to the h bombers turf to investigate the recent bombing you know what game why not why do i have to clean up the the cops mess whenever i just feel like i want to swing, swing around okay why? Why? Huh? I, I, gotta, I gotta deal with JJ, I gotta deal with MJ's garbage, and also Bruce narrating down my neck, and I have to deal with bombers? Come on now, this sucks. And this is ba- I'm just kidding, but this is basically the equivalent of Spider-Man 2, where you can talk to people in the streets. This is that, pretty much. But it's all just the same shady informant every time. Even for every different gang, it's the same guy. I don't know why, but it just is. He's very suspect. I've heard it more than once how the H-bombs have been hiring themselves out as corporate mercenaries. Gotta be some evidence around somewhere. Thanks, Snoop Dogg. Oh, sure, I believe you. You look totally trustworthy. <laughs> Spidey just so laid back casual like, oh, yeah, sure, guy who looks like Snoop Dogg in the shades and a beanie. Yeah, 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 and a dark trench coat as well. Yeah, I trust you. What's not to trust? Trust goes a long way. There we go. Wow, the first one. Sometimes you have to explore a lot of different areas in these certain side missions because there's always like something that you like either missed or something that they want you to go back and, and retrieve for a part of the uh, thing. Wow. And this is the best part. The loading times in this game are fantastic. And by that, I mean they're awful because of how there's no sound and everything just freezes for like a solid 10 Thanks seconds. You've done already, Spidey, but I got to tell you, these H-bombers are giving us fits. Now they're dabbling in industrial espionage. We need to get back a prototype they stole. Thanks, Nolan North. I'll make sure to get it just for you, all right? Woo! All right. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys like this swinging more than Spider-Man 3 on the PS3. I, again, I prefer Spider-Man 3 on the PS3 because there's air tricks and the wall running is more, like, it, it feels smoother. This is fine, though. I think that this is just, it's simple for a Go PS2 credit. game. Um, but again... Big step back from Spider-Man 2, of course. I mean, this whole game is a big step back from Spider-Man 2. I mean, look, it's a PS2 game, and compared to how Spider-Man 2 looked, this game, like, the city, there's barely any people on the street. Yeah, it's just, uh, again, because they were mainly focusing on the PS3 version. So that's why that they, this specific edition for the PS2 doesn't look as good as the PS3 version. You gonna say something, cop? No? What we do without you, Spidey. There you go. Unless you got some super villain to take down. Think you could get back those power converters the H bomber stole? No. You know what? No. I gotta get ready for a hot date with MJ, and JJ's already on my butt as it is, so no. I don't have time for you. You're the cops. Deal with it yourself. I'm kidding. We'll save him. In a creepy van that is literally parked on the side of the street in New York. Excellent. Great. It looks like I'm carrying a bomb. Gotta go and defuse it. I'm kidding. I forget. Well, I'm pretty sure there are bomb defusal things in this game, but not as much as the PS3 version. Getting those power converters back probably saved the city a whole lot of trouble in the future, Spider-Man. Thank you, sir, who I just gave a random power converter to for some reason. You're welcome. I can definitely trust you, guy in gray shirt. Absolutely. Not sketchy whatsoever. One of the trustworthiest person in all of New York. Guaranteed. Nothing in life is free. Hey, I even get paid for reading these loser lines. If you want to improve your skills, you're going to need to spend some hero points to do it. That's right. More hero point greatness. Now, let me think. Do I want wall jump, which is kind of not as good as this? Yes. Four hit melee combo. Obviously, I would love that. You can never have too many melee combos, right? Yes. Well, I mean, why not? More hits, more bangs for your buck. And more stylish ways for Spider-Man just to kill everybody. I mean, uh, heroically stop them. That's what I meant, of course. And I can't save, so I'm gonna exit. Ta-da! I love how they kept the sound effect from Spider-Man 2, though, where you, like, complete a mission, though. I love that. All right! I saw one. I should get to the Daily Bugle. I'm sure Jonah will want to put a reporter on the case. You mean you, Peter? I mean, you're a freelance photographer, but I mean, why wouldn't you want to be a reporter as well? I mean... 
You could be both if you tried hard enough, but I do understand what you're saying. All right, though. First, let me save again, and then we're going to do this mission, and then that would be the end of part one, because I do believe this is the um, bombs on the wall mission, I believe, where, like, you have to go and defuse bombs that are on the side of a certain building, I think, but, um, yeah, and again, look at that, already 10% complete. Wait, did it change again? Did it say 13 now? We're at 12% complete already. That's how short this game is. We did the first mission, a tutorial, and a side mission. Already a, a tenth of the game is finished. Again, that's that's the beauty of the PS2 version of Spider-Man 3, guys. It's hey, nothing buddy. great. Hi, Pete. Hey, Elizabeth Banks. Parker, my office, now! Um, what he said. Burn. I need pictures for tomorrow's front page. Or what? Spider-Man bolts while building burns? But... He saved all those people. What's your problem with Spidey, Mr. Jameson? He's a good guy. Good guys don't sell papers. That's right. They're scumbags. Jameson! Hello, Jonah. I've got a catchy headline for you. Bugle blown to smithereens. Wow. Who is this? What do you want? And how'd you get my direct line? You and your paper ruined me. Now it's payback time. I've planted bombs at all the bugle offices in the city. See you in the funny pages. Hello? Hello? Just what I need today, another whack job. So, kid, like I was... Parker! Arr! Rawr. JJ's mad. Heck with you, JJ. I just want to do my own thing, all right? I just went to get a coffee break, all right? Calm down. You seem quiet at the Bugle's main office. I should check the printing plant. I will, Toby. Don't worry. yee Again, the swinging in this game... If I had to rate it, of course, my first favorite swing is Web of Shadows. Second, yep. That's right. It's just like the great uh, Spider-Man 2002 days where you can just web zip up the wall while you're crawling. I know, Peter, we're going. Um, but again, uh, I think for me personally, um, in terms of favorite web swinging, in a Spider-Man game, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, then um, Ultimate Spider-Man, then Spider-Man 2, then um, this, and then I think I'm messing, oh, the PS3 version. That's right. Oh yeah, I'm obviously forgetting the Amazing Spider-Man games. Well, I don't like either of those games swinging, so, I mean, I like the web rush ability, but not the swinging in them, so I think... Um, first would be Web of Shadows, then, um, I would say Ultimate Spider-Man, then Spider-Man 2, then, um, Spider-Man 3 on the PS3, then Spider-Man 3 on the PS2, then the Amazing Spider-Man games. If I would say choosing which one specifically, I'd probably say, um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is last for me. Um, actually, no, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 is last for me because they, they don't stick to anything. Neither does the Amazing Spider-Man 2, but at least that you kind of have a little bit of variety um, it, with, when you swing. Whereas the Amazing Spider-Man 1, just the web rush was good, but the swinging itself, it stuck to the sky and it wasn't that fun. I know I just talked all over their dialogue, but I mean, we're just punching them in the face. Uh-oh. I would say, um, punch it right in the building. Yeah! See, Spider-Man already knows ahead of time that he's the bomb squad because he just drowns it in the freaking waterfront of New York. What a pro. Yep. Adding pollution to the list of menacing things that Spider-Man has done in the city. Look at that explosion. So huge. It actually was kind of big, but I don't know if it would have killed everybody in, in New York. Just that one building, I guess. But so good job. Nice try, hero. But our boss always has a backup plan. He's planted bombs all over the walls of the building. No one can get to them in time. Not even you. What part of does whatever a spider can was unclear to you? Burn! He just threw him off the building, didn't he? Great. What kind of twisted freak plants bombs on walls as a backup plan? Um, I would say Carlisle. And probably... Maybe Doc Ock, if he were to go and do the thing with his, you know, the Tritium masterpiece of his. Nice. Look at that skill diffusing system that Spider-Man just cracked. What a pro. Did you guys see the complex maneuvers that Spider-Man did in order to take out that bomb? Look it. Bam. Smashes it with one hand. What a pro. The bomb squad, does. they just need to retire. Seriously. If they knew this whole time that all they had to do was, like, just punch... 
bombs, their jobs would be so much easier. Spider-Man, that's really useful information that you're withholding from the bomb squad, alright? You gotta tell them that ASAP. Um, let me see. I think, though, that for this game, again, the graphics aren't the best. Um, they're definitely worse than Spider-Man 2, but I think, given, again, like, they, uh, Treyarch spent all their re- and Activision spent all their resources to fund for the PS3 version, I think what they did to try and make it so that both people who had PS3s and PS2s at the time in 2007 could both play Spider-Man 3, I think they did a good job. I'd better check with the police to see if there's been any other sign of this mad bomber. Get it? Because he's nuts? And he's mad? Insane? Bomber? Explosions? No? Alright. Hey, cops. Thanks, Spidey. We can handle things here, but the bombers apparently set up a similar trap at the Bugle's regional office. I'm on it. Great. Thanks, guys. Check you later. Um, oh, you know, I, want, I remember what I was going to say. Um, the intro that you guys saw, of course, like I said, if you've watched my Ultimate Spider-Man playthrough, I said that there may not be any intros for this game, for Radioactive Replay, because this game, like you saw, basically just reused the PS3 cutscenes. Whoa! Hey, get away from that bomb! They've almost activated the bomb. We got it. See you, no, go away! I don't want you guys to touch that bomb. Get out of here. Go away, guys. Come on, give me some adrenaline, Spidey. Come on, do better than that. No, 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 go away. Go away from the bomb. That would be a great thing to see. Woo! All right. Um, but again, the intros for this series may not even happen because, you know, the, the cutscenes in this game are just basically another rendition of the PS3 version, but it's not as you know, high quality as that game had. Um, and again, I might be making intros, but still, it may just be funny skits like you saw in this opening intro. Um, but still, who knows, there might be some surprises in store for you guys, so just keep that in mind. All right, time for your bath. That's right. Shampoo, conditioner, and a good old douse of water to help have you blow up without any civilians nearby. Whoop, and whoop again. Easiest diffusing ever. Way better than the PSP version, that's for sure. And, oh, that would suck if it just hit a random taxi cab. It's like, oh, no! I called an Uber, but I just got exploded by a random bomb. Another or a taxi, because Ubers didn't really exist back in 2007. Hmm, what's that suspicious package over there? <laughs> Is that a real line? Hmm, what's that glowing object that says triangle to interact? Maybe I should like touch it. sort of tracking device, and... It's showing bombs headed this way. Well, that sucks. Should probably fix that. Like, ASAP. Let's go, Spidey. Whew, all right. Of course, bombs in the first place are great to have when random thugs just have them. And they're just running all throughout New York for no reason. I guess. So, yeah, that, that, exactly. That's how you defuse bombs in the PS2 version of the game. You beat up the bad guys, which just so happened I'll be holding a suitcase... And then you beat him up, and then you just swing away. You don't have to defuse the bomb. You don't need to pick up the suitcase. I've got to stop. You just keep punching bad guys right in the face. Skills. Hey, look at these guys. are tag-teaming each other. Hold on. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Building is safe. Special move just for you. I call that a good day's work, Spidey. Ta-da! Experience awarded to the best player at all. Hooray! Now, these things are kind of interesting, and I wouldn't actually mind seeing these in Spider-Man PS4. So, what they are is you press triangle while you're swinging throughout the city, and it says, oh, there's like a bank robbery, or there's like a car chase, and then you can just, you know, choose if you want to do it. So, it makes it like all the more random. Um, kind of like what they had in Spider-Man 2 with those little gray dots, which were little petty crimes. Um, but these are like more, I guess, interactive, because you're able to... Um, choose whether or not you want to do it, and if you don't do it, then there, you know, nothing bad happens. Right into his knuckle dragging friends. Bada bing. Yeah, boom. They say once you start wall jumping, you never go back to crawling. Well, maybe, but crawling's just as fun, if not more fun. And web zipping, and wall running, and web swinging, all the great stuff. I wonder if things have settled down at the bugle yet. Couldn't hurt to see if JJ has another job for me. Right. Oh, wow, giant creepy lizards. I think we're going to be fighting Morbius next, because obviously I'm kidding. No, it's 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 the lizard. Doc Connors as the lizard is next. 
for our gameplay. But anyways, guys, this has been part one for Spider-Man 3 on the PS2. And, uh, yeah, this is obviously the greatest Spider-Man game ever made. This game is obviously not bad at all. Uh, I'm kidding. But right here, again, with um, what I'm swinging with right now, those flips and stuff, they're pretty cool. Um... Again, once you know how to control it, it actually does turn out to be a really interesting swinging experience. But again, it's not as good as Spider-Man 2 on the PS2 was. Um, but once again, that is because of the resources that Treyarch had back in 2007. And this game being kind of left out of the main, you know, the mainstream Spider-Man games. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's fine for what it was. And I assure you guys that once we are done with this game, we are going on to Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. And also, uh, fun fact, uh, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I am also going to be playing that game for Radioactive Replay, and I cannot wait to play that game for you guys, and it's going to be one heck of a good, good time. But anyways, that has been part one for Spider-Man 3 on the PS2. I cannot say that because it's a mouthful. But anyways, guys, in part two, we are going to be taking on the lizard and all of his creepy lizard people in uh, Central Park, I believe. I almost said Times Square again, but it's Central Park. Yes. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.